Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? On this video, we're going to do a couple of tests. Uh, we'll do a test where we have HDR on, and we do have HDR on right here. And then we're going to do a test where we don't have HDR on, so get ready. This is a PlayStation 4 Pro version, and uh, it's running on HDR right now. So on HDR right now, you're seeing deep dark levels, you're seeing peak brightness, uh, you see things pop. All right. Now, as soon as we jump to HDR off, you will see just how much of uh, detail you're going to lose. So we're going to go ahead and uh, turn off the HDR right now. In about two seconds. One, two. All right, so here we are. HDR is turned off. And as you can see, uh, the bright levels are all over the place. They're not... Uh, balanced properly the deep dark levels are all over the place they're not balanced properly everything looks kind of mushy it's not that good now as soon as we turn back the HDR on you will see just how much of detail you're gonna see right over here above this uh, sky where the sunrise is okay so in about two seconds I'm gonna turn the HDR on one two there it is, HDR, it's back on, and you can see you get much better clarity. You see that uh, that smoke. You didn't see that smoke before, but now you see it, okay? Now that's what you get when you have HDR on. Now let's go back over here. Uh, here's another great example. I want to go over here. This is a good example, like right here. Just look how much of that reflection, of, re reflection detail you're going to lose once we turn back HDR off so I'm gonna switch HDR off and you will see just how much you're gonna lose right here keep an eye right here and on that vehicle you'll see how much of out of place uh, bright levels they're gonna be all over the place the white bright levels gonna be all washed out they're gonna look you know not good so in about two seconds I'm gonna turn off the HDR one two okay so the HDR it's off and it's just not looking good it's just not good everything's washed out everything's out of place now look what happens when I turn back HDR on so in about two seconds I'm gonna turn the HDR on one two there's HDR it's turned on and you can see obviously there's so much uh, level of detail here that you can see that you couldn't previously see you know it's just, it just looks better it just looks better all right so let's go over here there should be another good uh, spot over here I want to find for HDR let me see yeah this is another good one right here keep uh, keep an eye on this right here look what happens when I turn the HDR off in about two seconds one two look at it. it looks horrible it just looks horrible when you turn the HDR off and look what happens when you turn the HDR back on look how much of uh, peak brightness of detail and deep dark levels you're gonna get when you turn it back on in about three seconds one two three hey look at that Let's go. look how much detail you just got from HDR I don't think people realize uh, how important the HDR is overall for the picture quality Sure, the resolution it's important too. You you want to have a great resolution, obviously. Uh, it, it goes both ways, but uh, not having that HDR, that resolution, honestly, is really not going to mean that much. That's how important HDR is, and especially Dolby Vision. You know, I can't wait for Dolby Vision to see how well the Dolby Vision is going to run. Uh, here's a good example right here. Okay, let's uh, let's keep it like right here, and look what happens when I turn off the HDR mode off look what happens in about three seconds one two three 
Look at that. It looks awful. It just looks awful. I mean, everything's too over bright and over washed. Now let's turn back HDR mode back on. Okay. So I'm going to do that right now in about three seconds. One, two, three. And look right here. Just look how much you get with the HDR. It's just better. It's just overall better. Like, look at this guy right here. And look at the kind of detail you're going to see on him. Come on. That's HDR for you. Same thing here. And of course, let's go for a ride here and you will see just how much of HDR detail you're going to get here. Hold on. You know, a wound like this takes eight weeks to heal. I'm ready, Sergeant. You've got my word. Oh, your word. You know, some of these scenes are FMV, but they're also in-game engine. Basically, the way it works, some of these are pre-recorded, but they're still in-game engine, continuous in-game engine. Uh, scenes. Like right now, see, everything's continuous. It's an in-game engine. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, this is going to be a great, great, great representation of HDR right here. We're going to see right now. Let's go, let's go. This is one of my favorite uh, parts of the game because HDR here truly shines. And you get to see it here perfectly. And look right here. Look, look at those, those trees and, and, and that sunset. Look at that, man. Look how beautiful that is. This looks 100 times better in person, but uh, hopefully you guys get the idea on why the HDR is so important. Especially for any game, not just Call of Duty, any game, it makes any game looks great. Even the Apple TV 4K games look great on HDR and Dolby Vision. You know, HDR really, it's so important for, not just for the movies, but for the, for the video games and sports and everything, all of the above, man. HDR is the future. That's a body son. It's a crowd. Now you do see my reflection of the uh, lamp, just don't mind that, but uh, you guys get the idea. Those tukas, right? Yeah. Well, anyway, there you have it, guys. Hopefully, um, this video gives you an idea the difference between HDR on and HDR off and just how much you are losing when you don't have that HDR on. That HDR is very important. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video, and uh, I'm going to see you on the next video. Take care, and uh, have a good one, though. Bye-bye.